<laughs> hey guys, uh, today I thought I'd do a Draw My Life video. And, you know, everyone else is doing it. Figured, why not, uh, me? So first, first, got it, huh? Uh, let's start off with my parents. Uh, there's a mommy and a daddy, of course. You know, usual mommy-daddy thing. They were in love. And then, you know, they decided to make uh, my sister. Uh, she was pretty evil. Don't know why they did that. And, you know, four years later, they decided, you know, well, I want another kid. Let's let's make this awesome dude with a beard and hair and googly eyes, and let's call him Cody. And then, you know, as a kid, you know, I still had a beard because real men have beard beards. And then, you know, my sister, who was really mean, used to beat me up all the time, resembling it with, you know, a baseball bat. You know, that, that was sad. I was sad a lot. You know, I had anger issues as a kid, but I got over them. And then, uh, you know, childhood wasn't all that bad. Uh, I started to play video games. Uh, started off with a Nintendo Entertainment System where uh, I play Mario and Duck Hunt. And after that, you know, I progressed into the N64 in years of 96 and 97. And, you know, all the cool kids played it, so why not? You know, I was a happy kid, I had a good childhood, you know, I was a Star Wars fan, Lord of the Rings, all that jazz, and then, you know, my parents uh, decided they weren't 100% compatible with each other anymore, so they decided, you know, let's have a divorce. And my dad at that time, he, he was a bit of an alcoholic, and, you know, he went through his problems, and, you know, my mom wasn't happy with it, but, you know, he fixed it, and, you know, they moved apart and whatnot. And that, that was basically my childhood. Now let's get into my teen years. Those, whew. Puberty, that was scary. Girls, more scary. And for some reason, my sister got even more scary. Don't know how that's possible. Like I said, I went through puberty uh, around fifth grade or so. Uh, I played football. I was bigger. I was always the big kid. Had facial hair and everything. That little pubic hair stuff. Then, you know, sixth grade the next year came along, middle school, and <laughs> I uh, I fell behind. Everyone else grew up taller than me, and, you know, I got average height. Wasn't too upset about it. And then uh, after that, I noticed what uh, girls were, and uh, I started to like them for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. I still do. You know, they're pretty cool. Wink. You know, I... In those years, I went from crush to crush and got turned down quite a bit. And then for some reason, a few of them were just like, you know what, let's date this dude. He's not that bad, I guess. And basically, that was my middle school years. They were pretty okay. And then uh, in my eighth grade year, uh, my sister and brother-in-law uh, decided to pop out a kid. My first nephew was born. You know, it's great. Uh, I love my nephews. They're great. I'm happy. I'm a happy uncle. I'm one of the proudest ones out there. They're the greatest kids, too. And then uh, right after that, you know, it was high school. You know, my sister became nicer. I think it's because of my nephew. That's why she became more of a nice person. She learned how to care. She grew a heart. And uh, I found one of those uh, girls to be very attractive and I uh, decided to uh, make her my girlfriend I guess you know we, we were happy together for a while you know a few years or so and uh, down the road uh, and it, it, it went sour but that's that's later and uh, then my dad uh, you know he's a great guy uh, this is my whole high school year from sophomore year on he started getting sick and then, uh, my senior year, uh, I got a call, and, uh, he was real sick. My aunt said he doesn't have long to go. You know, I was sitting there, I held his hand, and he passed away. It was one of the worst days of my life, but, you know, he's not suffering anymore, he's not sick anymore. And, you know, we're all happy he's in a better place, and not in a hellish, painful, sick hospital all the time. And then, 
you know, after that, it was still my senior year, and uh, I got one of these things called a diploma because I graduated, and I guess I'm pretty smart or something. And uh, my sister is pregnant again with my brother-in-law's kid, of course. And, uh, you know, college started after that, and she decided, like in the Alien movies, to pop out the kid through her chest. And, you know, my second nephew was born. And then, you know, my college years were fun, but, you know, I drank a lot, and then, you know, I studied, you know, it was fun. And then, you know, I drank even more, and then there's boobies involved, but, yeah. And, you know, I was a typical, you know, freshman, you know, drank a lot, went to a lot of parties, you know, there's a lot of keggers. And, uh, you know, that uh, always ended up with me, you know, on the floor, passed out somewhere. And for some reason, I started to like this stuff called Southern Comfort. Uh, it's not the best for me. And uh, it took me on a little bit of a trip towards the hospital. I made a little visit. And uh, last thing I remember, you know, I was screwing out my friend's name and then woke up into the hospital and saw this doctor who was a complete idiot. First thing he said to me was, do you have a 50-50% of dying? I was like, what? No, that's ridiculous. You don't say that after someone just wakes up. Then, you know, I stopped drinking after that. You know, I was really sick from it. And Ten weeks later, you know, I said, you know, I'll stop being a bitch and I'll grab a beer and drink a little bit. And, you know, I learned how to control myself after that. And then this is at that point where, you know, I talked about that girlfriend of mine, let's call her whore, uh, and my anxiety was bad, so I was taking medicine, and she decided she'd cheat on me. And, uh, yeah, we broke up, it was crappy, but, you know, oh well, I, I don't care. And I found me a new lady friend who's that way. And, you know, that was fun uh, for a while, and for some reason we decided to take a break and break up for a couple years or so. And then I took some time off from college. Uh, you know, I worked a lot. I worked at Taco Bell, and then that didn't work out, so I went to a Wendy's, the only place that would really hire, you know, uh, non-college grads or whatever. So I was wearing paper hats, flipping burgers, you know, just like the sellout song. And then I found this thing called uh, a website, and it's on the Internet. It's called YouTube. I don't know if you ever heard of it. It's pretty great. You get to watch videos, and I watched uh, CTFXC. Uh, Wheezy Waiter, who I love, Apprentice A, who I am the biggest fan of Corey Vidal and them, Apprentice A crew, uh, the Shaytard, Shay Carl, and all them. Uh, you got SS60 Phil, you know, Phil DeFranco, uh, you got PVP, and then also you got SourceFed, wonderful news group made by SX Phil. And, you know, I, I love all those channels, and I hope someday I could do that, so I started making my own videos. And the first one I really made that was very popular was my Bane video where I did an impersonation of Bane with a bunch of movie quotes. And then I made a bunch of videos after that, one of the short shorts, a one, you know, making stuff, and then a bunch of vlogs after that. And then, you know, nowadays, you know, I got a new school coming ahead. Like, I'm going to a new school, I've got more views and, like, more fun through my uh, videos. And then that new lady friend is still over there and got back together. YouTube, uh, I hope someday I can make that my future. Uh, I love doing that stuff. It's real great making these videos. So I decided to go to Central Michigan University to study broadcasting. You know, get a little little bit of something something behind me so I can get out into the world and make more videos. And you know, right now me and this lady friend, I'm pretty happy. She seems pretty happy. You know, She's a girl, obviously, lady friend over there, towel girl. Uh, we're pretty happy, and, you know, things are going pretty good right now. We've been dating for a while, and it's working out. And whole day, you know, if, I hope one day, maybe, it, if it's her or some other person, I don't know, uh, maybe I can have kids and, you know, have that happy family I always wanted. You know, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, use the protections.
Hey guys, here's some of the videos I recently made, and that's a subscribe button. Go ahead, click it. Just do it. Click it. Please? Please? Please?